Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I want to go. You said you wrote your mother at 14 years old. Let her know. um, It was was like a two-page letter. Mm -hmm. And and a year later, you start transitioning. Walk us Mm -hmm. through what what does what does transitioning you know I, I have no idea what that looks like what, what walk us through well what the, sorry. transitioning as a 15 year old boy it's basically you're changing clothing you're changing you're growing your hair you're wearing makeup you're wearing earrings and that was the one thing my mom hated she hated the earrings. She hated the eyeliner. She hated, this was my famous, you see this right here? You yeah. see that wing, that black wing? Yeah. I used to do that black wing when I was, I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. Cause that was the first thing that I thought in my mind that would make my eyes look feminine. When mm-hmm. I tell you my mom used to hate it. She would tell me to wipe that off my, she was like, do not come in my house with that. She would tell me to wipe that off my eyes every chance she got. So what I would do is when I would leave to go for school, I would walk out. I would put, apply the eyeliner, you know, on the side of a house with a mirror, go to school, woo, woo, woo. When I would come home, wipe that shit right off before I got in the house because I didn't want to hear her mouth. <laughs> and I used to hate that because I used to want to be able to be free around my mom too. But it was like, at that time, I was only able to kind of be in my own skin when I was in school because the the kids I went to school with, they were like, they found it intriguing. They would egg me on. They'd be like, girl, look at you, girl. Go on here. I'll be like the little show. I'll be the show, literally. Because they, because I was literally the only person that was, like, different. And people would be like, especially the girls. I had a few guy friends that were super cool, too. Like, And we, like, 15, 16 years old. You don't really get that too often. But with the guys. But they'd be like, yo, you know, do your thing. Do They used to call me Spice. This was my nickname in high school. They used to call me Spice Girl or Spice Boy, whatever, because I was a big Spice Girls fanatic. So I used to be like, just call me Spice Girl, call me Baby Spice. And I dubbed, they dubbed that name to me. And that's what everybody used to be like. They'll just either say Spice. They're going to be like, they go Spice. Or they'll be like Spice Girl. The girls would be like Baby Spice. So that was my favorite member. So I will always walk around with a, my um my book note. It have a picture of the Spice Girls on it, and everybody would be like, "Why do you like them so much?" And what people didn't understand is, I loved their look, their femininity, how they were, the short skirts. You know, I used to want to be a Spice Girl. That's really what it was. So I got that nickname from my classmates, and then a lot of people used to think that I liked the Spice Girls because I wanted to date one of them. And I kind of would want them to think that at first, but it wasn't mm-hmm. that at all. It was like, I guess at first it was a cover up for me when I, before the transition, because I started liking the Spice Girls like when they first came out and I wasn't even in high school yet. But then I got into high school. They got bigger and bigger. They were a huge group for a few years. And then, you know, but I can say the Spice Girls, they were in a big part of my transition um, because I used to always look at them and be like, oh, my God, I want my hair in pigtails. I want the long weaves. And um, and then I became a cheerleader in high school. And that was when I really broke out. Everybody was like, well, there she go. And then the boys, I used to <laughs> think the boys, the boys, I believed, had a thing for me. I really believed it because when I would have practice, Chili practice, we would walk past like the football players, and the football players would be looking at me and they'd be like, There go your girlfriend, there go your girlfriend right there, talking about me. And I'm so like, Y'all know y'all picked- like this, y'all know y'all like it. When I was like 99 pounds, real skinny, real petite, but I was still cute. I was turning into like a really cute girl. Like all my friends would tell me, You really look like a girl. Your transition is going to be great when you get older. 
Like a lot of my friends would tell me that. And it did. Because a lot of my friends that went to high school with me, they hit me up. They'd be like, girl, you have turned into such a bad bitch. They'll tell me that. You have really transitioned in such a pretty woman. Because when I was in high school, I had a lot of flaws still. I had bad acne. I was, you know, you know, going through my teenage Everybody phase. does. Yeah. Everybody um, does. But I was taking hormones. I started taking hormones. That, that's where that's where I wanted to go with this. Mm-hmm. At what age did you start taking the hormones? And what does that process even look like? I took my first hormone shot, I would say, like at 16, going into 17 years old. But I got Okay, stop, stop there for a second. Is this mm-hmm. something that you need consent from your parents? Yes, you were supposed to have the consent. I got it from under the black market, basically. I At got 16 it years old, you found I where had, to get I found the older. I found an older trans woman who was, who was selling it to me. She was selling mm-hmm. it to me and she was like, oh girl, she's like, you're, she was telling me, she's like, you are a beauty. I'm going to make sure you have your hormones, start your hormone therapy. So I would pay her $25 for each hormone shot. How often would was go, you taking them? I was going every week or every other week. And I Okay, so to, mm-hmm. I, I want to go through this slowly, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Every week or every other week, you're paying her $25. $25. She's giving a hormone shot. Yeah, she's giving me, it, it was a shot that I was taking in the buttock. And when, you know, the buttock cheap. And um, it was a, it was something that I was, every time I would do it, I would feel very womanly. <laughs> I don't know. It was like. Okay. A, okay. So that, that's what I'm asking. Like, what are the effects? Oh, you start you know. to get the soft skin, soft skin. I noticed, you know, I believe since I started hormones so young, I, I used to have the Adam's apple, but I don't even, I think it shrinks it because <laughs> I don't even have that anymore. Like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You you know, when I was younger, the guys would be like, check the neck, check the neck. And I used to have a look because I was very slim. So it used to kind of stick out a little bit. But once I started at least being on a year of hormones, I noticed that it was kind of shrinking. And I'm like, oh, this must be the hormone was working. And what, what about I, your voice? What about your oh, voice? Does yeah, it affect and I was, I think it changes the voice change and make his voice softer. Um, and I developed weight. I started gaining weight too. So it, it, it made me develop appetites. I know um, sometimes I was, you know, having little emotion swings and stuff. Like I was, you know, feeling like sad at certain things. And then the, the, my girl that I was getting the hormones from, her name was Nancy. And I got it from another person too, named Tracy. And she said, they, they told me that was the effects. You're going to get emotional. You're going to have some emotional ups and down moments. And you're going to start having more of an appetite. And people know. And then my breasts, before I got implants, my real breasts were growing. Okay. I, I was going to ask you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're taking the hormone shots, they actually. They develop breasts. Wow. I had no idea. So if you started taking hormones and was taking it for about a good year, you uh-huh. would have breasts with big nipples and you basically be a, a man with breasts. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.